to uh, Cam Latina and, and his team and Cam Broom and, and those guys that were um, the more together team. They deserved to win the game. They played within themselves, played together, gave the proper effort, and, uh, and deserved to win. Uh, from our end, extremely disappointing. Um, I think a total lack of respect for the game of basketball. And you look like you're going through the motions and not competing at a high level, and that's um, tight losing. Yeah, and that's got to come from them. I don't, I don't know where that comes from. Um, that's got to come from within the team, I think, as individual human beings. Um, you know, we go to shoot around, and we got coaches jumping up and down, and Coach Gallo singing, and chest bumping people, and what we need is like AEDs, like life support thing. We need like shot, like jumpstart people. Like, and, and coaches are like trying to create all this energy that it's fake because it's not from within. It's not from within the locker room. It's not from within individuals. And so you try and manufacture it. You try and motivate. You try and do whatever you can to get guys to play. But at some point in time, you just got to almost have like some personal pride of like, this is the level of effort I'm going to give because I have respect for myself. Uh, and there's a couple guys out there that, that I thought played okay, but you know, I think sometimes they think, oh, well, you know, now we're in league place, so we'll just show up and win games because that's what people have done. Yeah, but those people have also worked really hard to earn the right to win games, um, not just showing up. Coach, the 1656 mark game came on converts game one. You guys get up nine. Looks like the bridge kind of extend that lead. You don't find the basket again from the field till the four minute mark. And what happens in that stretch that just the whole game changed? Well, the, 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 whole, the whole game, I mean, you can tell when people are mentally engaged in a game. The number of balls that went through our hands, the number of balls we almost threw at Sacred Heart defenders is, is very indicative of not being mentally ready to play a basketball game. And so you can fake it, you can fake it, you can clap, you can chant defense, you can yell, you can scream, you can stomp. You can do all these things, but at some point in time, the truth is going to come to light. And so we scored, and it was the perfect excuse for us to say, you know what, they're going to quit. This game's over. So then we jack one past threes. Everybody who comes out of the game can't believe they're coming out of the game. Why am I coming out? Well, because you just stopped on the last three defensive plays in a row. That's why. And um, that's what happened. You've got guys on the bench that you're relying on in a major way that you say, hey, do you want to go back in the game? And they don't speak. Huh. It's really hard to coach that way. Um, and that's that's what happened. Yes. One of the mental it's like in your heart, like how much you care. On our scouting report, I showed you our scouting report is big bold letters, the third defensive key in big bold letters. No big game for number one, Kane Broom. Whew. It's a big game. 11 for 22, 33 points, 8 rebounds, 40 minutes. That's a big game. But you gotta care to you gotta care to execute that. Like we just go through the motions and everything we do, we quiz them on scouting report. They regurgitate the, the key, but it, do, it doesn't sink into their heart. And so it's okay if Cambro makes a shot. It's someone else's fault. It's okay if he beats us in transition when the first two keys were defense were, were transition defense. It's okay. If the guy next to me would do better, then it would work out. And and, and some individual ownership and some individual responsibility is needed by all of us because that's how good teams work. When everybody feels individually responsible for getting stops, for getting rebounds executing offense. Uh, it's, it's frustrating as a coach because I, I've never had a team respond less to me as a human being than this group. And uh, it's extremely humbling because you think you're actually like halfway decent at something and, and have a little bit of a track record of success. And 
I can't get these guys to do anything. I uh, we'll, we'll draw the play in a timeout. Guys will come out. We won't run the play. We'll, we'll make a defensive adjustment in a timeout. I will address a player and say, do you understand? Yes. Go out. Doesn't execute. It's, uh, it's incredibly, incredibly humbling and uh, incredibly frustrating. And the problem is, is that I think it breaks my heart, but I don't know. I don't know how many other guys look and say you're two and twelve and zero and one, and that's not the level this team should be at. Like I think one of the things that we pride ourselves on here is getting the most out of the team you've had in the past eight years, and we are getting the absolute least out of this group. Maybe not have enough, um, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I mean, the one thing about Lucky, obviously, he was, he was incredibly competitive, and so that, you know, his, his energy helped guys for sure. Um, but it's, 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 a, it's a daily thing. It's like, you know, um, our team two years ago with Carvel Anderson and Anthony Myers as the seniors that won 14 and 2, those guys were our hardest workers, and so that. Team worked really hard. Um, you know, the year before that, when Belton and Russell were seniors, you know, they would have their ups and downs, but they competed and they could keep guys. Um, they had pride, I think, in, in, in the in the program, the pride in the university, pride in their team and their performance. And uh, I don't know how much pride you guys have. I don't. You know, like it's. Uh, some of the stuff that goes on that's just that they are okay with is not okay with me, um, but it doesn't seem to be a, a big deal, you know. Um, I told him in the locker room I don't remember kidnapping anybody to be on the team, but it's almost like they're doing us a favor by being there, and um, that's not the way college athletics is, is supposed to be. As far as I'm concerned, and uh, it's disappointing for sure. Got a video like that from the Aaron Tate on the bench, and you know, see Jordan Hester come on. Aaron's the first guy up, kind of trying to keep his head up. Obviously, it's very you know, a lot. Of, uh, is there a timetable for Aaron's return and update it? Because you know, I see part of the is a goal or first. Yeah, he practiced the last couple of days, but um, not comfortable enough to go out there. I don't know if it's fair to him to put him out there unless he's fully healthy and ready to go. So, and, and Aaron was, he was, he was great at, at getting up. We, you know, kind of encourage guys. I feel like he could do some more of that during the course of practice, I think would help us as well, you know. Because um, it's funny, like if you would watch us practice the last two days, so many of the things that go wrong for us, we address, and uh, like I said, I'm not doing a good job as the head coach of getting guys to buy into the importance of so many things that happen. Uh, and I'm not, sure, I'm not sure, uh, I gotta think and, and watch and figure out how to do that, because I just, Not able to get the, the, the response that you're that you're you'd like, uh, <clears throat> and I don't know if it's talking to guys. Can't yell at anybody anymore. That's out the window. Uh, you know, and I tell them I'll do anything you guys ask. You want me to go sit at the end of the bench and cross my legs and watch? I would do that. That would get you guys to play at the appropriate level that you're capable of. Um, but no one ever has a suggestion for us. We got a lot of questions and a lot of, um, you know, complaining, but we don't get a lot of suggestions as to what if we try this, or what if we did this, or coach, this would help us, or coach, 
because this would really get us going. But I don't know. Because uh, I think sometimes it's just easier to point out the negative stuff than actually come up with a solution. Um, God, I'm racking my brain to try and come up with a solution. And it's different stuff we're trying is not working. So we'll try something different. Joe wants to do Joe's transferring. 